viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If, if you are new here, you are highly welcome. And for all subscribers, it's really good to have you guys back. I love you all. For this training, I'll be teaching you this wonderful design. Please stay tuned. For this training, we'll be using a foam poly material. We also call it scuba. And this piece is measures with 7 inches length by 6.5 inches width. 27 inches length by 6.5 inches width. This is for the band. And don't forget that the length part is the stretchy part. Please note, my head circumference is 22 inches. So I added 5 inches. So whatever you get for your head circumference, just add 5 inches. You get this design. So for the next piece, which will be the loop, this measures 5 inches length by 3 inches width 5 inches length by 3 inches width the stretchy part is the length part all right to be folding the band you fold the band and you take your tape and measure two and a half inches that is 2.5 inches just mark it at the way i did 2.5 inches then you go to your sewing machine and seal down from this point down you take it down when you get to this point you marked out please jump give a space there then you seal the remaining parts hope you get me then for this material for the loop just seal this edge i'm done with mine i'm done sewing i can see the outcome right but i'll be taking my scissors to trim out the excess trying to make the edges to be sharp so to come out very neat so you trim out the way i just did and i will turn out this material for the loop this fabric i'll be turning it out then for the band i'll also turn it out don't forget that point i told you to give space use your scissors to cut out the thread there and you turn it out just the way i'm doing So what I'll be doing next is to mark 2.5 inches again. Use your tailor shock and mark out 2.5 inches. Then take it to your sewing machine and sew this point. Alright, I'm done with my, you can see the way it looks. You can see it. Next thing I'll be doing is to form my bow. Please watch closely how I form my bow.
at this point i'll be adding the loop then you fold the way i just did now and use a sewing machine to sew this edge i've done my sewing next now i'll be doing to you is use my scissors to cut out the excess after doing that you turn out the loop making the rough part to be hidden and this is it guys you can get this design in less than three minutes when i mean less than three minutes i mean less than three minutes thanks for staying to this time see you next time